Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to tell you what I am working on. I thought I would just jump right in. I'm doing a layout for Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L. I'm now on their design team and I'm super excited to jump in, but I'm starting up with not talking about adhesives because I want to start prepping for this project. So I've got these stamps. They're the Potted Posy stamps from Dare to Be Artsy, right? So what I grabbed is just some black archival ink and I thought I would do a bunch of stamps and this is just like mixed media paper right by Vicki Booten. I thought I'd grab a bunch of these stamps and stamp all over. Then what I want to do because I thought it'd be super fun is to emboss on top of my images the exact same way and then watercolor them in. I don't know why but I thought I would and this was going to be my first step in creating this layout because I need time for these to dry so I can fussy cut them out in a yibbit, right? So I did a few of these, a few of these, and these are all separate stamps. I just thought it would be easier to stamp them at the same time. I'll color them, cut them out individually. It'll be super cute, right? Then I'll use all kinds of dimensional adhesives from Scrapbook Adhesive by 3L um, to pop them up on my layout. Now I also went ahead with these fab papers by this company's this the dare to be artsy and i fussy cut out lots and lots of the pieces because it's just one of those things that i happen to love doing so i have lots of florals and lots of the potted plants so i thought it'd be so cute to have those fussy cut pieces layered up with stamped and watercolored images yes okay so I've got the stamping done with a nice archival ink. I'm going to come back in, find some clear embossing powder in my stash and get them embossed and watercolored. I wanted to share that with you and then I'll meet you back here and we'll put this layout together. But I'm pretty darn excited. Now I've already pulled some adhesive. Of course, I have my Easy Runner Grand because that's the goat, right? Then I've got my crafty foam tape for doing large pieces like my photo. I've got my 3D foam squares on standby. That's what I have out so far. Who knows where it's going to go. Now my photo, it's this one right here. This is a pretty little, what are these called? Monstera leaves? Monstera plant. My, and it's alive at the moment. That's why we have it documented. This is my daughter's new house and she we're whitewashing her fireplace shortly. Um, oh, and we're spray painting the fireplace insert does not matter for this situation. Anywho, she sent me a picture of her pretty plant. I'm like, oh my gosh, that goes with this vibe so well. Um, and she's going to kill it soon. So I figured we should document it while we can, that poor thing. So I love this little phrase, plant happiness, um, because it's, you know, that play on words. So I have that. Now, I think what I'm also going to do, because I think for my second project this month or my first, depending on when I put things up, I'm also going to do this thank you word. Or do I do plant happiness on a card as well as this? I like you grow girl too. No, I'm happy with these sentiments. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, guys, you could have plant hope as well. Such good sentiments. Now, this sunflower piece here, I think is gorge, right? And I'm wondering, no, no, I'm going to stick with this. Okay, there's, I have so many ideas of what I want to do and how I want to pop everything up that I've got to calm down. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and stamp, heat emboss this as well, watercolor them in, and I'll come back and we'll put this together. Oh my goodness, I had so much fun doing that other part of the project. Let me show you what I have there. So I stamped, like we talked about. I went ahead and used clear embossing and then just really simple watercolors, but they're drying, super fun, love that, great. So in a couple, I will be able to fussy cut them out. Love the wet and wet, very cute, okay. So I'm looking at this. Now I know I want to mat my bits on this. I think I'll double mat it and you guys are like, what is with all the patterns? It's just me, it's fine. But I'm thinking a little tiny pretty strip of green, right? Large yellow mat. Perfect. Great, right? Because the green will get pulled forward from Mr. Plant. Now, poor little Mr. Plant who 
no doubt will perish before we know it, has to be represented. So what I was thinking at that point is I have got the most fun little fussy cut pieces. And there's tons of green within that. I'm also going to map my photo in green. But I wanted my sweet little plant life here. Oh, that one has a cut edge. So that's one of those situations where that will go right on the edge of my piece, right? But I did want to do a whole plant situation. Now, look at this. We have a kitty on a ledge right here. And there's a great ledge there. So that might be kind of a fun situation. Maybe. I'm wondering... Do I put this one here where this ledge is? Because we can have different ledges, right? I'm just going to start piling them up. Now I have a little plant here. We don't want the plant running off the page. So maybe the plant should be on that side. Oh, here's another cut one. And that's where I like to nestle that. So my whole point is, I'm going to have this whole little plant world going on. Because why not? That's what this vibe is of all of these die cut pieces. Now what I'm thinking, because I'm going to have some of the green, I'm going to have some of the yellow, I can definitely map my photo. And yeah, I want to map the photo in green. I love these little kitties. They make me laugh. And I think there's three of them. Was there three kitties on this sheet? Let's see. I don't, I mean, I think there were, but I don't know. Let me look at the... Um, one, two, three. So we've got a, I am missing, oh, I'm missing the one that looks like Earl. Okay. Where is Earl, guys? Where have we lost Earl? Oh, there he is. There he is. We've got Earl. Earl might be right on the photo because he is not on a ledge, but I don't want my sweet little kitties to be too close to this edge because it's going to look like they're looking off. That's not what we're doing. So this sweet little kitty is going to be here. We've got this sweet kitty here. I'm thinking a tiny bit of a visual triangle of the meows since we're lining this up. Okay, this little bit's here and all of these pieces will be popped up and I'm going to use, where's, guys, what am I doing? A mix of my 3D foam squares and my crafty foam tape. So I've got to get this big honking thing out of the packaging. I know, crinkle, crinkle. We're all going to make it through if we crinkle. It's fine. So I'm going to have a great mix going, just depending on the size of my bits and pieces, right? But we're going to have Kitty down here. I'm kind of thinking we'll create a nice low ledge that's going to mimic these fireplace pieces. And that would be really easy also to do with the two pieces in here. That's what we'll do. And then along the low ledge, we are going to stack up a zillion plants. So cute. Now, in the meantime, because I have to do that little bit of homework, I am going to fussy cut out some of these pieces to add in. Love that the colors came out pretty darn close to what I have in this collection. So I'm going to do that. Oh, and I also have titles here. So we have Plant Happiness, which I really like the idea of that. And I also like You you Grow Girl. So I'm going to make some thoughts going about that, but I can also go look at some of my Alpas. It's going to be great. So give me a second. I'm going to start making a ledge down here. Got these pieces. Um, I'm thinking I might do a nice little quick scuffy scuff on the edges, and I'll show you a little bit about that in just a second. All right, y'all. So I've got some good traction. I've gone ahead and double matted my background. Um, and guys, this is fabulous. It, it gives me just a second, like if I mess up, to be able to pull it up really quickly before it becomes a permanent adhesive. So love that. So, oh, and I did also go ahead and give myself a little bit of a scuff on my edges. And the reason being is because I needed a little bit more differentiation, you know, because I have tons of pattern. So now we have our two little shelves, right? And I thought we could mimic my girl's uh, fireplace like ledge down here. She's got a nice mantle as well as a ledge. So we're gonna give ourselves a nice little ledge to pop the photo down, all kinds of plants, our kitty cat, the whole thing. So let me flip them over and these, I gave them a nice little scuff too, no big deal. I'm thinking 
of leaving the photo. Um, thinking of leaving the photo with just a white mat. No big deal. Nice and easy peasy. So kind of ish about right there. Now my photo. My photo, of course, is the star of the show. So at that point, I'm going to want to get my photo popped up on some of my big roll here. It's called Crafty Foam Tape. And guys, the cool thing with Crafty Foam Tape is it is so easy to use and it's layerable, which I love. I love something layerable. So it tears super easily too. You don't have to do scissors. It's just a habit of mine because, you know, it is. So if you see here, you can go ahead and tear it nicely. I'll pop it on my poor little lamp, that extra little bit, because I always do that. Now I want to give my white edges here a bit of a scuff too. Sorry if you don't like the sound. Just a bit of a scuff. And guys, so this is the base of our layout. We've got our photo, right? We've got the basic design, design, I can say words, down. I'm going to go ahead. Let me get a T-square ruler because I get all weird about like having a couple of things straight. Nice. It's straight. So just grab your little bits, zoop them off the back, and yeah, they come off really nice and easily. So you have no muss, no fuss with that. And it's going to give me a nice, I thought we we're going to go kind of on this side, a nice little bit of dimension. And guys, the green paper pulls the color of Mr. Plants out really well. And then, of course, we're going to have lots and lots and lots of other plants and things around. I still have to cut out. All right, that's our really dramatic one. That's going to be so fun when we pop it up. I still have to cut out. Let's make kitty. Um... Where did we decide to put that one? I still, oh, oh, guys, let's put this one. So that is a gorgeous visual triangle. This can go on the edge there. I still have to cut out the bits that I did with watercolor, but I wanted to make sure that this was down. Now I'm gonna tuck in a couple of little sentiments here and there, but you guys, I think it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, this kitty is super orange, so. Maybe I will stick this plant that has the cut side kind of under here, and then Kitty can play with the plant. Love that. And then at this point, y'all, it's just totally decorating however you are vibing it. There's nothing important here on my page, so that's fine. I do need to get a, a little tiny bit of a title down. Ooh, okay, I like having those two layered. This is hanging, we might not see the blue one as well behind. I like the this bowl kind of plant, so let me see. Ooh, this one's a deeper bowl, or a deeper blue. So I can have that behind Kitty. Kitty is going to thwap at that plant. And before I get much further, because I know I'm going really excitedly fast, I'm going to cut out my watercolor pieces and start popping them on. But guys, how stinking cute. So I started tucking in these little watercolor plants and they're fun in that it adds just a different kind of, I mean, I try to keep the color tones in, but there's some shine and, you know, from the embossing uh, powder and stuff like that. So it adds just that little bit of fun. So I have two here. I have one there. I think I want to put more in. I just like them so much. So I'm going to cut another little section of them out. And I always rather create more of something like this than less. Because this will be so fun when it comes to creating cards and stuff like that. So this is some sturdy paper I have to cut through. So I'm going to go ahead and cut just a few more and tuck them in. But guys, that is where both our crafty foam tape and our 3D foam squares are gonna totally get to work because, where's my little opening spot? Where's my little opening spot? Because I love to pop up all of the things. It's gonna be so cute. So we have that, um, mm, 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 mm. what else was I gonna say? See how some are little and some are a medium size? So super easy to use. And guys, look at, 
I also, to have fluttering around, oh, again, I've got these cute little tiny butterflies. I think they're going to be perf. So I just thought I'd show you that these little tucked in extra little bits totally add to the project. Now I get to pop them all up and I'm going to, you know, turn it every which way so you can take a look and see the difference with the dimension. It is like goals. All right, guys, I have all of those fun little background pieces on and look at all of these little bits of dimension. So super love that. Now, oops, I need to put one little bit right there. Let's grab my 3D foam squares and go ahead and tuck that under. Definitely needs a quick little tack down. And that's how quickly those are used. I did want to show you, see this piece right here? This little shelf piece? I grabbed a little bit of a 3D foam strip, just a little piece of it for that skinny little shelf. Perfect, did not need to trim it or anything. So now I have these two cute little sentiments, right? So I think I'll just go ahead and do a nice quick little fussy cut around them. And then I grabbed some super vintage alphas in black. And I'm just gonna have the word grow on there. I thought that would be perfect. So we've got you grow girl. I mean, come on, look at how cute. And it's stamped and then it's embossed on top of the stamping. So I can tuck that anywhere. I don't know if it's gonna go there, but I like it. Now this one, I think the word plant is just a little tiny bit wonky. So I'll put that, I will plant, not plant. <laughs> I will cut, see cut is different than the word plant. I will cut it out into two different pieces. So I've got those and I've got my sweet little alphas to do the word grow. Then I'll probably grab some cute little bits and pieces, like a couple little sequins or something to give this some zhuzh. So let me see what I might wanna use. Now, these are super cool. These are from, um, Buttons Glory More, and they're the Sea Queen's embellishments. Now, there are little pine trees. I don't need those bits, but the gold lettering and these really nice little garnet colored ones would be perfect. I don't know if I have anything else handy that I want to put on. I like the idea of a few sequins. That would be super cute. Oh, and I definitely want to get my sweet little itty bitty butterflies in, and I'll hit them. Once I have them on and I'm gonna pop them up with some 3D foam squares, I'll hit them with a little bit of Nouveau Crystal Glaze for a little bit of shine. So guys, I just have to pop those things on. Um, the word grow probably right down here. That might be a nice place for the title. I'll show you this finished layout. All right, y'all, I have got myself a finished layout. I think it's super cute. I still have to get a little Nouveau on my butterflies. I don't even know. This stuff doesn't tend to get stopped up. So let me see if I can show you what I meant by that. Let me just spread it out a little bit. And I'll show you what I mean, just because the butterflies are so pretty, they want to show their shine. Okay, easy peasy. So let me see. Oh, butterfly without shine. And a butterfly with a little bit of shine going on. Then I've got a couple of sequins, just a little something something in a few places. And that is that, my friends. So I'm going to have links down below, you know, the, the product lines, all that kind of stuff, still shots, all of the things, guys. I hope you like what I came up with. I love that nice bit of different um, dimensions that I played with today. I think that's all I had to share with you. I think that's all I had to share with you, but I did have fun. So let's see what we used. We use 3D foam strips to be clutch. I was able to pop in 3D foam squares in all kinds of places. I have got my monster crafty foam tape, one of my very, very faves. And of course, the one, the only, my Easy Runner Grand. Let me go ahead and pop that on. Okay, that's what I used for my goodies today, guys. And I am going to see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.